What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. It's your boy again, man. I tell you what. Ooh, I done put in some work this weekend. I tell you, man, it's been fun, man. As you can see from the screen, the passcode to success is 247-365. We stay grinding. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And it is so good to be here doing another live stream, man. Just uh, been kind of busy. I've been on uh, all the channels today. I did a members only live, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But without any further ado, let me go ahead and bring myself up, up in here. What is going on, everyone? Happy Sunday, man. Happy Sunday. And welcome to another Points Blank Travel Live, also known as PBT Live. I am your host that sometimes does the most. It's your boy, Rod. And on this channel, we talk about credit. We talk about credit cards. We talk about points, miles, cashback, personal finance, and how to travel around the world or around the country for little or no money out of your pocket. If that's something you're interested in, do your boy a favor if you haven't already done so. Subscribe to the channel. Get a video a thumbs up. Share the channel with your family and friends. Share it on your social media platforms. And with all that being said, you know what time it is. Let's roll, baby. Let's get down to business. See, we got three real homies in the crib. What's up, Antoinette? Have fun. How you doing? Says, good evening, PBT. What's going on, Mojo? Hey, Points Playing Travel. How you doing? I'm just speaking to all the people in the comments. And man, I got a couple of things I want to talk about, but I may wait until we get a few more people in here. But as you can see from the thumbnail, now, I didn't get a chance to advertise this on Instagram. I didn't even put it out on Facebook or anything. I kind of ran out of time because I recorded a members only live stream. I mean, members only video. And then I advertised it because we're kicking off the membership. So if you're not a member, if I don't see a little one of the things that's beside my name that look like this. I mean, I, if you're not a member, you may have reasons. I know I wasn't putting out much information, but if you see there, it says points blank travel. And then it got that little disc looking thing beside it. If I don't see that, I know you're not a channel member, not calling you out. I do shout out to channel members, but I don't shout out to people that are not channel members. But if you were once a channel member or you've never been a channel member, you may want to consider becoming a channel member because I can tell you, I'm about to turn it up. I did a great video. I did get a, a, a comment. I just didn't have a chance to respond that said uh, this video was fire. It could have easily been a live stream. It could have easily been a regular video, but I decided to put it on out to the members only. So with all that being said, man, we're going to be talking about the American Express everyday preferred card in this video. And the reason I wanted to talk about this card is uh, it, it's a solid card. A lot of people typically start out with the blue cash everyday card or the blue cash preferred card and they get the cash back. But I don't really like the cash back cards from American Express. I have the blue cash preferred because they don't really, they give you cash back, but it's in the form of a statement credit. I mean, I need to make a purchase and they reimburse me for the purchase. I'd rather just get the cash and transfer it to one of my accounts and then use it to pay for a trip or uh, typically I invest my all my cash back for my cash back cards. So uh, I I don't know. I'm just not. A, I'd rather have a American Express points and miles card. So uh, let me see here. I'm looking for some here. So I wanted to talk about this card because a lot of people, when they think about uh, membership reward earning cards and membership rewards is American Express's currency. It's kind of like money. You earn it in the form of points. You could use it to travel. You could use it to shop. You could use it, um, redeem it for cash with the membership reward points. Now, you can redeem that for cash, but at a terrible redemption rate. So um, a lot of people think about the green card, the gold card, uh, and the platinum card or the business versions of these cards, the business green, business gold, business platinum, where in reality... The car that I would choose is the everyday preferred car. What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, man? I would choose the everyday preferred car because the green car has a $150 annual fee. The gold car, 
has a $250 annual fee and the platinum car has a $695 annual fee. But the card I'm talking about today, the everyday preferred card has a $95 annual fee. You still earn membership reward points. You can transfer those to partners. And in this live stream, we're going to definitely uh, go over the car. We're going to go over what you earn with the car. We're going to go over the perks of the car. And we're going to go over the transfer partners that you could transfer. And I, they call it flexible rewards cards or flexible card, American Express, Chase, City. And because you have so many, what's my favorite word? Options, baby. You have options. When you get these cards, you have options of things you may want to do. And what I'm going to do real quick while I'm thinking about it, and before I get too deep in this, because I'm about to start flowing here, and I'm going to try to pin this to the top. What I just put in here, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on the screen. And did I speak to you, Jonathan? I want to make sure I spoke to you, man. And I'm going to, well, it won't let me pin it at the top. Uh, I'd actually have to go into my uh but that that link right there is to become a youtube channel member and it starts at 199 for silver membership 499 for one dollar 99 cents for silver four dollars and 99 cents for gold membership and nine dollars and 99 cents for platinum and when you go through there you can read and i may revamp it a little bit uh tonight or tomorrow but i know platinum one of the biggest perks is if you have a credit a credit card question you will have direct access to me a couple of times a month i'm not going to talk to people every day and i and if a person i've had one or two people try now if we discuss your uh credit question and you say hey rod who do you think is going to win the super bowl i'll answer that but if you just call me to talk about baseball football then it's going to be a short-lived conversation but that's one of the perks of the platinum and then the goal and you will have access to live streams and members only lives members only videos so Enough of that. Anyway, let me go ahead and share my screen. Let's get down in here, man. Let's get down in here and go ahead. And I'm going to, and I need y'all to help me out, man. I need y'all to tell me if, actually, let me do one thing. If y'all like this, it's something that I'm going to try. Uh, it's going to be a different look to y'all, a different look to me as well, not just y'all. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give y'all the opportunity. What's up, Arnold? More, uh, more of an opportunity to see the screen, see the information when I share my screen. And I didn't like it when I, I it was cool when I was to the side, but then it, it shrunk up the screen, it shrunk up, shrunk up the presentation. So y'all tell me what you think it is, and it'll probably default to. So I'm going ahead and share my screen here. This is the everyday preferred card. Let me see. Yes. Now, this is the way he said, man, you on a roll, bro. Love it. Yeah. Arno is attesting to what I was saying. Man, I have been pumping out content. Members only live, uh, members only video. I did a video on my investment channel. I'm all over Instagram. I'm on Facebook. So, uh, hey, we got six real homies in the crib. If this is your first time here. Let me know where you're tapping in from. You can say the city, the state, just like Jonathan said, Flushing, New York. Or you could just say, hey, I'm from the East Coast, West Coast, Dirty South, Midwest, whatever you want to say. But let me know where you're tuning in from. It's kind of cool, man, when I see here I'm reaching people in this part of the country, or even in this part of the world. I have people tuning in from Australia, Japan. So now that's the default view. But here is going to be my new view. And we're going to do a one for default and a two for this new. That's the view. Now, I'm at the bottom of the screen because you probably said, well, where did I go? I'm at the very bottom. And it's more, it's a smaller square, but I don't know if you notice how big the actual content that I'm putting out is. I mean, you can sit up here and, and see half of me talking and then half for the screen, I mean, not half, but a smaller portion, but I'd rather you see a little bitty portion of me talking and a larger portion of the information that's being put out. So let me jump on over here, man, this everyday preferred card. I could tell you for the longest, this was my favorite credit card in my wallet. It, it didn't leave my wallet for almost 15 to 18 months. And then I got the gold card and then the business gold and some kind of way it pushed the everyday preferred card out of the wallet. Well, this month I've decided, if you go back and look at my what's in my wallet video, it's back in the wallet. And I'm going to show you, I actually get more comments slash compliments off this card than I do the um, 
gold card, which is metal, and the platinum card, which is metal. They're heavier than plastic, obviously, but this is a see-through card. You can't really tell from the picture. But anyway, let's just jump into it, man. Let's jump into it. Let me go ahead and uh, get into this here. Now, the way that you earn on this card, is you will earn three times the points, three points for every dollar spent on groceries, two times the points on gas, and one time the point on all other purchases, one time points on all other purchases. Now, groceries, this is at U.S. supermarkets. This is not good worldwide. On the U.S. supermarkets, on up to $6,000 per year in purchases. So you go to grocery stores, you can use this card, whether it's a Albertsons or a Kroger or HEB or Tom Thumb, whatever you have. Now, this excludes, if this is your first time here, I don't drop gems. I don't drop nuggets. Everybody else do that. I drop boulders, baby. I want you to feel what I'm dropping. I want you to feel the information I'm dropping. So here's the first boulder. Now, Walmart and Target are excluded. So are wholesale clubs like Sam's Club and Costco. Although Walmart and Target, they sell groceries and they all have, pretty much have a full-fledged grocery store in there. They're coded. So when you use your card and they and you make a transaction, it's going to code back to American Express, Chase, Capital One, whoever, as a super center. So don't go into get all excited and go into Walmart or Target and go grocery shopping and pull out this card thinking you're about to get three times the points. It's not going to happen. Now, you do get two times the points on gas at U.S. gas station. Keep in mind, even though this says on gas, everything in the gas station, because if you're at a 7-Eleven and it has a gas station, a Shell or Exxon, it's going to code as a gas station. Everything you get inside that gas station, popcorn, lollipops, pickles, Sodas, Gatorade, it's going to code as gas, and you can really, this can become very lucrative, especially if you stop in the morning and get a pastry or a coffee and a donut, or you have a long commute and you get gas quite frequently every week or several times a week. And then all other purchases, you will get one times a point. If this is the only card I have, I'm cool. I'm getting three times the points at grocery stores, two times the points a gas station at one point everywhere else. The only real huge category that I don't have covered is restaurants. And I'm not a big out to eat fan. I probably do, lately I've been doing like 80, 20, 80 at home and 20 out. And I used to be probably a 70, 30, 70 out, 30% at home. So it just really depends, but this is a great card to have in your arsenal. Now this is something that's huge right here. You will earn 50% extra points. I'm going to show you. I'm right here at the top. I have it highlighted now. You can kind of see it stood out. Use your card 30 or more times on purchases in a billing cycle. A billing period, billing cycle, same thing. And earn 50% extra points on these purchases, less returns and credits. So 30 or more transactions in a billing period. Billing period is not April 1st to April 30th or May 1st to May 31st. A billing period is from the your statement closing date, I mean statement opening date to your statement closing date. On for me, this card, the statement opening date, and you can see it on the mobile app or on your website once you get approved, is the fourth of every month. And my statement closing date is the third of every month. So I know I have from the fourth of this month to the third of next month to make 30 transactions on this card to get a 50% bonus. So let me go back up a little bit. So now if you make 30% transactions, and I've only missed it once since I've been using the card. Now, if I didn't have it in my wallet, obviously I was missing it. But when this card was in my wallet for, let's just say 18 months consecutive, I only missed it one time. And that's because I miscalculated. I had 29 transactions. I thought I had 30. So instead of three times the points, you get a 50% bonus. Well, half of three is one and a half. So now you're getting 4.5 times the points on groceries at grocery stores and even gift cards. Whatever you get in the grocery store, lotion, whatever you get is going to count. Instead of getting 
two times the points on gas, half of two is one, two plus one is three. You're getting three times the points on gas. And instead of getting one time the point, you get 1.5 times the points on all of the purchases. Now, it does retro act. It's not, okay, well, it took me to the 20th of the month to get 30 transactions. So from the 21st to the 30th, I'm going to get a 50% bonus. It doesn't work like that. It's going to go back to your first transaction in that billing cycle or that billing period. And it's going to give each of those a 50% bonus, each transaction that you made. I'm going to give y'all some hints. So some people, even me, when I got the card, I said, how in the world am I going to make 30 transactions in a month or in, in, a, in a billing cycle is a month, 30 days, 30 or 31 days, depending on how the month fall. So I got a little smarter and it's really not smarter, but you just break up your purchases. You go to the grocery store. And I always use a steak example. I'm going to use some. Let's just say you're making chili dogs, making chili dogs for the family. So you got to have buns. You got to have the hot dog. You got to have the chili, cheese. Some people like cheese. Some people like onions. And then some chips and maybe some mustard. So what I'm going to do is this instead of me getting all this stuff and getting up to the uh, self-checkout and only making one purchase, I'm at the store one time and it's on one rod, but I'm about to break this down into probably, I'm not going to stand there and, and especially if it's a long line and, and, and make 12 different transactions, but I am going to probably do a minimum of three. So I probably put the, the buns and the hot dogs together, the chili and uh, uh, mustard together. And then the cheese, the chips, the onion and everything else that I see it. And another transaction and if you're quick with it and ain't fumbling around half the time people ain't paying attention where well, they pay more attention than they are on a regular checkout line but it's usually what six spots in a self checkout line so if you're there a little extra time you're you're not going to be there any more than any longer than anyone that has a full shopping cart so you're still only doing three transactions but you only have like 10 items nine items so Keep that in mind. That's just a little hint. Uh, send and split. This is something that's new. I just kind of highlighted them right here in case y'all are looking. You can send money and split purchases with any other Venmo or PayPal user directly from the American Express app. I, like you go, you and your girlfriend, you and your homeboy go out to lunch. Y'all going to split the bill or she going to or she going to split the bill. You had American Express card. You put everything on your card to get the points. And just let them pay you, and they can send split the bill and send it. Should just call it split and send instead of send and split. Or well, either way, and you're getting the points. They're not caring about using a credit card. You're winning, baby. You're winning. And Planet is basically if you have a purchase of a hundred dollars or more. I am right here. Uh. You can break it down into monthly installments with a fixed fee. I don't do that. I just go ahead and you can because it could be cheaper than the interest rate, but I try to pay my card off. Now, this right here, earn more with MX offers. This can be huge. You can earn, say, you go and spend $100 uh, at the Levi store. I think this is the last time I used it. You could get $25 if you spend $100, $25 off if you spend $100. So, Two pair of jeans would not normally cost you 100 You can get them for 75 Or you may go get a $200 room, and they'll give you $50. The only thing about the offers is you have to activate them. You have to add them to the card. Now, I have nine American Express cards. These offers will pop up for pretty much every card. But if I put it on the Everyday Preferred card, it's not going to be available for the gold card. So I learned that the hard way. So keep that in mind. I thought I was about to double and triple dip. That's not the case. Again, this car here is a beautiful, I love this car. One thing I didn't see and was a sign of bonus. And I, I can go back and I'll, I'll look that up. It's usually 20,000 points have you spent $2,000 in a three-month period. So, uh, And I'll check before the end of this live stream. So you'll earn 20,000 membership reward points have you spent $1,500 to $2,000 in a three-month time frame. From the date of account opening account opening is not the date that you get the card in the mail and you activate it this is boulder number two 
account opening is the day or night, the date of the day or night you were approved for the card. So you can tell American Express to call them, hey, can you expedite this? Or you can have them on the phone. Hey, I'm about to apply for this card. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get approved. If I get approved or when I get approved, can you please expedite the card? And if they say yes, you're going to get the card typically the next day, no longer than two days. Because what you don't want to do is let it get caught up in a regular mail and it take five to seven business days. What do they say? Seven to 10 business days to get to your crib or your house. And now instead of having three months to hit the welcome bonus, you only have two and a half months because they lollipopped around getting you your car. And we're going to talk about transfer points. When it comes to travel, you can also, even though it wasn't listed above, you can get two times membership report war points at amextravel.com. So if you, and I've used amextravel.com once recently when I flew back from Phoenix, you go in there, you book your ticket, you get a ticket, say $500 round trip. You use your everyday preferred car. You're going to get a thousand points just for using the car. And then if you're a frequent flyer with say American Delta, or not a frequent flyer, you're signed up for the loyalty program with Delta, uh, American or United or Southwest, you're going to earn points through the loyalty program. So you're double dipping, baby. You're winning. What's my favorite word? Options, baby. I want to say what too short to say, but I can't. This is a family channel and I'm on YouTube. So Global Assist Hotline, shopping and entertainment. Let's talk about that real quick. You can get return protection. So we're return protection. You use the card to make a purchase. I'm going to kind of highlight this here and then I'm going to read it verbatim with return, return protection. You may return eligible purchases to American Express if the seller won't take them back up to 90 days. So you're trying to return some and get your money back. And I don't know. Well, we can't use them. Let's just say Target and they won't take it back. Now, this looks like it's been worn. Or you go to Marshalls or Ross and stuff. It looked like it was worn. I, I could tell the, the, the neck is a little stretched out. Well, and I'm sorry, we can't refund you that. Or I know you paid $25 or $20 for this dress, but I'm only going to give you $10 or, or $12 back. Thank you. How long do I have to return this? Oh, you have up to 14 days. I'm on day three. I'm going to reach out to American Express because I use my everyday uh, preferred card. Tell them the situation. I ain't going to tell them all that now. But tell them, hey, I went to try to return this dress at Marshall's or Ross, and they won't let me return it. What's your policy? Is there something I can do? So you have 90 days from the date of purchase, and they may refund the full purchase price, excluding shipping and handling if you order it online, up to $300 per item, up to $300, and up to a maximum of $1,000 a year. So you can't do this. You can't, you can't go get you no dress or no slacks and go to the club and then go take it to the cleaners, and get it clean. So you get anything that's on it all for anything. If they smoking cigars or something, you get the smell out and then re re go try to return to America. And no, they ain't going to work like that. You can't do it every time you have a $300 per item max and a thousand dollars per year. So you can do this a good uh, three times up to 300 or if it's six times, in a year, as long as it don't exceed a thousand dollars, you can get it. And dispute resolution, I'm not going over that. And that should be it. Then you can add your uh users if you choose to. And we got 10 real homies in the crib. What's up, 911? What's going on, my man? What's up, Paul? Yeah, MX baby. What's up, man? Let's roll. So, what I am gonna do right now is I'm gonna unshare my screen, then I have to reshare it to show y'all the transfer partners. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all didn't tell me, which which view do you like? Do you like the old view where I'm over to the side or do you like me down at the bottom like I am right here? Just wish I could make that a little bigger. But I guess you can't have everything. So the travel transfer partners for American Express are here, your airline tra transfer partners, you have Asia Miles. If you're doing internet, it's really good for international. You have British Airways. If you're going to Europe and going to, say, London, 
or to Britain, Great Britain, or they're also part of One World, which is American Airlines. Now, good luck with this. I've tried it a couple of times that I have not been successful, but American is a partner and part of One World. So you could actually transfer points to British Airways. Go to British Airways, book a domestic flight within the United States, because British Airways, you're not going to see them flying in the United States unless they're coming from overseas. They're not going to fly from Dallas to New York or New York to L.A. Book, put in your where you want to leave, where you want to go, and then it'll pull up only American flights, American Airlines. Only thing is I've yet to have, I could either get there or I can get back. I just can't do both, which I just thought of something because I might be using American. So I can either get there or get back. I just can't do both. My my that's been my experience. So you also have Delta. You can transfer to Delta Sky Miles. This is typically what I use my American Express for if I'm flying Delta. You have Emirates, one of the top airlines internationally. I heard that is a beautiful airline to fly with. Uh Etihad, which is also another nice one. Finnair, which is uh Finland, Flying Blue, which is uh French, Malaysia Airlines. And then they do have the uh, hotels sprinkled in here because I put all Marriott Bonvoy. So you can transfer these over to Marriott. The last three or four times I've stayed at Marriott, I've transferred American Express points to Marriott. I do have a Marriott card where I earn some, but the multipliers are like crap. And if you'd have been in the members only live stream today, you would have saw this. Speaking of members only, for those of you that just came in, a couple of things I need you to do. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification, go up to all. If you're on your phone, it's going to be a little downward arrow. Once you hit subscribe, hit that little arrow. It's going to be defaulted to personalized. Go up to all so you don't miss future videos or live streams. I need y'all to hit that like button so we can get this information pushed out to people that may be interested. And share this out, man. Even after the live stream, you want to share it to somebody that has American Express but don't know what to do with the points they're earning? Here it is right here. Or somebody that's thinking about a credit card. Everyday preferred card, I personally like it because I think it's good for beginners as well as seasoned veterans like myself. And if you're on this live stream, you should see a thing down there that says join. I would highly recommend. I did a live stream today. I mean, not a live stream, a video today for members. And it was, I was very pleased. It took me no time to edit it because I was very pleased. But anyway, Mary Bonfoy, Qatar Airlines, which is another good international airlines. Scandinavian Airlines, Singapore Airlines, which they have some good business class flights if you're going to Asia. Uh, Qatar, typically, you're looking at the Middle East. Emirates, you're looking at the Middle East. Qatar may go to uh, some other places. Then you have Virgin Atlantic Flying Club, which uh, they're partnered with Delta as well. Now, one of the things I didn't see in here, and so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to hotel partners. Uh, it made me do this earlier, so I guess I got to do it again. Y'all bear with me here. I just got to scroll down and put United States. Put continue. And your hotel partners are Hilton. Hilton Honors, Marriott Bonvoy, and Radisson Rewards. It used to be Choice, but Radisson and Choice kind of merged. So you had a Radisson, you had a Choice Hotels. I'm going to click it just to see if it showed a different brands. But one of the beauties of Hilton, now, everything else, I think, Jet, and JetBlue also used to be a partner. They may have got rid of them. I didn't see them in the list. But with everything else, it's typically one membership reward point equals one point from their program. Equal, yeah, one, one, one to one ratio, with the exception of Hilton. So for every one point you transfer from American Express Membership Rewards, you're going to get two Hilton points. I'm looking at staying, uh, if I go on the Meeting Night Cruise in uh, July, staying at the Hilton Long Beach, it's 70,000 points per night. I'm going to stay in one night. But I'm going to transfer points from my American Express account over to my Hilton account. And I only have to transfer 35,000 points because once I do that, they're going to turn into 70,000. If I was on Hilton, I would have to have 70,000 points. 
Just a little note from ROD from PBT. Let's see if it showed. Uh, no, nah, it, it didn't show the partners. So not going to worry about that, man. Uh, kind of just wanted to show y'all. And that is the Everyday Preferred card, man. That is the Everyday Preferred card. If y'all have any questions, definitely let me know. Uh, that card is, it, it, matter of fact, Hopefully I did not even take it out of spray here. Have to be careful so it don't. But right there, you can kind of see it's a see-through card. You it, it, it's completely see-through. Love the card. Love what you can get. Um, and those four, even the three points, if you don't hit 30 transactions, those three points, two points, and one points, they add up very quickly, extremely quickly. Uh or extremely fast, probably a better way to say that. And then if you get to multiplier, where you're getting a 50% bonus, I didn't, for the longest, I didn't have a gold and a platinum and a green, and now I have all three, but I rarely use the green card. I use my business gold, and I only use my platinum card when I travel. So I'm really thinking about getting rid of some of those higher annual fee cards and just having this $95 annual fee everyday preferred card and probably my business gold and be cool because I, I don't I, I'm starting to realize, you know, the reason if you have a layover, yes, yeah, perfect. Because I had a layover in Atlanta when I went to Miami last year. If you have a layover, it's perfect because you, you get off the plane, you go to the lounge, grab you some something to eat, order you a drink or whatever. And then by the time you finish that, it's time to jet and go catch a, your connecting flight. However, when I'm flying out of Dallas and there is no connecting flight, let's say I'm flying from Dallas to San Diego or Dallas to Long Beach. I'm going to get to the airport. Let's just say lately I've been an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half before the flight. They say two hours. By the time I get there, piddle around a little bit, check in. Check my bag, then go outside and get some more fresh air because I know I'm about to be cooped up for a couple of hours. Then go through security. By the time I get where I'm going, it's time to board the flight because they're going to board 30 minutes early. So I got there an hour and a half early. I messed around a little bit. So now I'm probably down to an hour. Then I got to go through security. Then they start boarding 30 minutes ahead. I don't even have, I haven't even had time to go to a lounge. So I'm asking myself, why do I need to keep this American Express Platinum card, which gives you access? And this is the main reason I'm keeping it. To give you access, this is not the main reason. To American Express Centurion lounges, which are very nice, but they're, they're overcrowded. But it also gives you access if you're flying Delta to the Delta Sky Club, which I love. I like that more than American Express. Roomier, pretty good drinks. Food is pretty good. Food is better at American Express Centurion, but it just takes longer to get to it where it, Delta, they have it kind of spread all over the place. So that's my take on that. Let me jump in these comments, see what y'all are talking about. Man, we've been on here 34 minutes. These, these uh, live streams turning into record-breaking live streams as far as time. I used to be on here two hours, man, three hours. So we already spoke to internet. Mojo says, hey, sir, what's going on? What's going on? And... Uh, Mojo said, have you canceled? I may have just answered this question. Have you canceled your consumer gold card? Not yet. I have been thinking of, of seriously canceling my consumer gold as the annual fee is coming up at the end of May. Now, keep in mind, even if the annual fee hit, you do have, you can call American Express and verify this, but you typically have 30 days from your anniversary date to cancel and they won't charge your annual fee. It may show up, but if you're, if, if you if it's due before that 30 days, then you obviously got to pay the bill. But so an AAL, for those of you that don't know, I break down these acronyms as annual fee. So you really, it realistically have to sometime in June if your member, anniversary membership is May because you have 30 days to actually uh, decide whether you want to keep the card or get rid of it. And if you're thinking this, like I'm thinking pretty hard. I just, I'm almost not seeing a sense in having the goal and the business go because 
they're overlapping. I get groceries at, at, on a personal goal or the consumer goal and restaurants. I get restaurants and gas on the business goal. Well, I can replace the personal goal. I'm still getting restaurants on the business goal and replace the personal goal with the everyday preferred car and still get three times the points of groceries or 4.5, which is more anyway. So Jonathan says, hi there from Flushing, New York. And I was asking, did I speak to him? Again, if you are not a channel member or you used to be a channel member, $1.99 to join. I'll be honest, I am thinking about making the videos, the members on the video, member on the live streams um, for the gold membership level and platinum, which is $4.99, but I won't be doing that at least for another three to six months. I'm going to let everybody, $1.99 membership, $4.99 and $9.99. That is dollar plus 99 cent. I'm not talking about no hundreds. Um, so there's a link to join if you want to join. And Jonathan Factor says, yes, you did. And Arnold said, man, you're on a roll. And 911, in his opinion, he says, it's a BS card. To everybody, there's cards out there that people have that I can't stand. And... Um, there's cars out there that people live by that a lot of other people don't live by. And that's why they have so many different cars and to choose from because where Rob may think is great, now one may, one may think it's a BS car. So, and, and I welcome all comments. I'm not going to sit here and say, well, uh, why'd you put that in there? You could have just left. No, man, put your opinion in here. That's what we're here for. And speaking of that, man, comments are really, really slow and kind of flowing kind of slow tonight. Amex, baby, let's roll. What's up, Paul? Appreciate you being here, man. And Andre said, what's up, Rod? Rod just check it in. I hope everything's doing well. Yeah, man, everything's doing pretty good. I've been extremely busy lately. And uh, Mufasa, what's going on? Says, uh, great review. Looking forward to you doing a review on American Amex Hilton Business Park. Okay, I may put that in the rotation this week because I was going to do the survey. I may do that first. May do that first. So I'll probably go ahead and do that this week. Uh Mufasa, do you follow me on IG? If you follow, if you if you do, if you don't, then follow me. And if you do, send me a DM and just say, hey Rod, just a reminder, Hilton Business Card from American Express. And then that'll, that'll kind of remind me because I don't want to sit here. I type slow on the phones and I don't want to hold everybody up. What I am going to do right now is something that I rarely do. I've never done this. Um, bear with me here. Hopefully, it don't play no noise. But what I am going to do is give y'all a little treat, and maybe the comments will. Uh, and you know, this may be kind of different because I'm logged in. Um, we're going to see here. I may have to log into us. No, I got to be on this account. Bear with me here. Should be able to get there. Yep, there it is. Uh, it's crazy. It's not going to tell me something. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to share my screen again. Four people, okay, we'll do. I'm following you. Okay, cool. Yeah, just shoot me a DM, man. And I'm going to share. Actually, I'm going to try to get it to a portion. What's and going on? And let me uh, mute that. Probably get it to about right here. And I'm going to show a little bit of this, not much. And this is what I'm going to be doing on the, on the members only videos and the members only lives. Kind of uh, what I did last week, and I'm still going to do that, but it may move over to members only where I do the travel deals. As soon as I see a deal, if I got time to record it, it could be a short, it could be two minutes, it could be eight minutes. Uh, the majority of those are going to go to members only. So. All right, let me go ahead and uh, share my screen here. I just want y'all to see some real quick. We got 
Man, we went from eight to six, six to four. We're going to be from four to two and two to zero in a minute. All right. I'm going to share my screen. Let me see if y'all can see what I'm seeing. And, yep, y'all can. All right. So let me go ahead and go over here. Now, today I had the side view. So I'm going to press play. And what, what we're getting ready to look at is probably 10 seconds, maybe 15, of the members-only video that I did today. And the title is Top Hotel Credit Cards for Free Hotel Nights. May change that because I put, should have put the top credit cards for free hotel nights. I mean, I definitely take that first hotel out. But anyway, here we go to the side. But I'm going to try something different. I'm going to put me at the bottom of the screen. Right, Probably start to say that. So you have an offer where you can earn three free nights after you spend three thousand dollars on purchases in the first Envoy account. If you're looking on a desktop or a laptop and it's going to be in your mobile app, if you're looking on a, a tablet or a phone with a Samsung or iPhone, you go to. Your so basically, that's what I did on the members only today. And it, 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 it's just a uh, showing people how to get free nights. Members only is going to be lit. I can tell you right now, it's going to be a lot of content over there, a lot of shorter content. Uh, Mojo says, uh, do you think the city custom cash is worth it anymore if you don't have the city premiere and given most city cards have lost a lot of benefits on them? I actually put the city custom card. It's funny you ask this. I put it back in my wallet today. I don't have a city premiere. Never have. I kind of slipped. I don't know why I didn't get it. I think it was something to do with the transfer partners uh, that city had at the time. So my thank you points has always been converted from cash, from my double cash card, my custom cash card. Those are the only two I have. And I have American Airlines cards. But as far as I think it's worth it because you get 5% cash back or if you had a premiere of five times the points, wherever you spend the most money on so many different categories, like I know, I think online shopping is one and uh, restaurants, gas, grocery stores. Well, I either use mine at grocery stores or gas. And if I have two point earning cards, one going to gas, one going to restaurants, then, or a better deal, then I'll use it at grocery stores, vice versa. If I have one, a better deal at grocery stores and uh, gas, I'll use it at restaurants. So I'm always getting 5% cash back with this card somewhere. So I just, I had took it out for this month just because I was trying to really, really earn some points. But I also been making pretty good amount of money with my cash back, with my investments, my stock and crypto purchases. So I said, let me earn a little more cash back. So there you have it, Mojo. That's my answer. Now, if you use a city thank you points to travel, then yeah, you need a premier card. And I still think it's worth because it's no annual fee. It doesn't cost anything to have. So I, I'm a firm believer if they're um I think personally, to answer your question, who would you say is more conservative on account approval between city and U.S. Bank? I think U.S. Bank is more conservative, in my opinion. Uh, I don't have a city account, but one of the things I actually did when I applied for the U.S. Bank Cash Plus card was I opened up, uh, I think I have a savings account. It can't be a, no, nah, maybe a chicken. I opened up a savings or a checking account and put about 150 bucks, 100, between 100 and 200 dollars. I want to say 100, 150 dollars in there, just to show them that I was trying to build a relationship with them. Then I applied for the card and it was approved. But I've heard people, several people say uh, I didn't have a problem with either. But I've heard people say U.S. Bank is a little more strenuous than City. But that is the people I heard it from are pretty legit, so it's not a he say, she say type of thing. It's more of a legitimate, real talk. So, well, man, we got one person in here and me he's sitting here, that count two. And I, I kind of figured that because YouTube was kind of light today. I went to a couple of different live streams. Um, 
and look through the lives that had taken place that I missed. And the views was down. And I don't know if because the weather's getting nicer. Um, baseball season started, so I don't know what's going on as far as the viewership. Or I'm wondering, and y'all maybe chime, we only ain't but one person in here. Whoever the one person is, do you think YouTube's getting oversaturated where people are just getting tired of watching YouTube? I know a lot of people got rid of cable. Some people have YouTube TV. Some people just stream, um, whether it's with Fire TV or whatever. So that's a question I have. And for the people just coming in, man, went over to American Everyday Preferred Car. If you have questions about it, please put them in the comments. Or you want me to do a quick review of it? I will. I can do it in less than probably a minute. Uh, but uh, I I'm thinking that YouTube is becoming... People, I think people are just really getting tired of YouTube. They've subscribed to so many different people. And now I think people more than ever are dropping content, a lot more content than they used to. Now, when I first started YouTube and when a lot of people first started YouTube, it was during the pandemic. Well, people were stuck in the house. They really didn't have much to do. They could only watch. Like even now, I get tired. I have uh, the ML Major League Baseball Network or something. So I get to see every game. Well, after about a game and a half, I flip through three different games, watch a couple of innings here, a couple of innings there. I'm kind of tired of it. So I'll, I'll, I'll find something else to do. And then before I know it, I end up on YouTube. So I think people are getting a back outside. People are traveling. They're doing family stuff. And again, if you are traveling, if you are traveling, Please consider, and I get nothing out of it. I have a, a referral link, but I didn't even mention my referral link. I didn't put it in the in the in the comments. I didn't pin it anywhere. I didn't put it in the description. I have a referral link for the everyday preferred car. If somebody's interested in using my link, you may get a better offer. Please DM me on Instagram at points blank travel, just like the, the name of the channel. But I like what Denise. Well, let me let me say. Let me go here and then I'm gonna. I'm going to go to this here only because I just asked a question. I'm going to go back up to uh, Mufasa and Mojo. Denise said, I think it's a notification and it's Sunday evening. Now, I could tell you all how to fix the notifications. The notifications, when you subscribe, let me, let me, let me pull up. Let me share my screen again. I'm, I'm going to walk you all through this. Not in case people don't do because I, I found myself not doing it. So... Uh, let me share the screen. And then I'm going to go over here. Hopefully it's showing me. Uh, my stuff's going to look a little different. Yeah, because it's my channel. Let me go to somebody else's channel. Let me go to... Um, man, I don't know. I don't know where to go. Here, let me just go to YouTube. And let me just go to YouTube and pick a channel I'm not subscribed to. It's going to probably show all the people I'm subscribed to. Yep. Yeah, I don't think I'm subscribed to this. So let's pause it. Here we go. I am subscribed. But right here, join. If I wanted to join his membership, this is where I would join. But right next to subscribe, it would be black. And then once you subscribe, this is the little arrow. And people said a notification bell. It's all part of the same thing. So once you subscribe, and it says subscribed with a D past test, you hit that little arrow down and it's automatically default to the personalized. This is why I didn't know I was even subscribed to this person's channel because I haven't gotten a notification from it. Why? Because I didn't go in there and personalize the notification. And that's why it has personal. Or I could put none. Let's just say I'm showing someone some love, but I'm not interested in what their content is about. I'll watch a couple of videos, stay subscribed, but I'll put no notifications because let's just say... Uh, Deep sea fishing. I'm not interested in that. 
but I, one of my homeboys started Deep Sea Fishing Channel. I may subscribe, watch a couple of videos, and then put none. Now, personalized, or if I only want to see his live streams because they're funny, I just put personalized, I put live stream. But then the best way to do it is go up to all, and then you're going to get every notification, whether I go live, whether I do a short, whether I do a video, you get all notifications. So that's where a lot of people aren't checking like keep it up with the griffins they're one of my favorite channels they're part of the alliance and i wasn't getting their notifications and i was getting a little bothered i was like yo man why am i not getting notifications only did i share the screen i don't even think i shared it i'm gonna have to show y'all real quick i ain't gonna talk i'm just gonna point them out um yeah i don't think i shared it so Here's a join button if you want to join memberships. Here's a subscribe button. Make sure once you subscribe, it goes to past tense. Hit the down arrow. It's going to default to personalize. Go up to all. That way you'll get all notifications. Quick two seconds. All right. Now let me get me back on the screen. Where was we at? Uh, Mufasa said, I just canceled my MX screen, but don't don't want to pay the annual fee i hope mx don't get mad at me do you have other mx cards i don't think they'll get mad i think mx they, they've been around for a while and and um with today's economy and people getting laid off inflation taking place food's higher everything's higher i think i don't think i think what people did Two years ago, a year and a half ago, they may not be able to do today. So I don't think they'll get mad. There is no downgrade option. There is no no annual fee charge card or card in the, that's in that Amex family. So you almost didn't have a choice. Okay. Mojo said, I have a big getting the notifications for when there is a live happening, sir. Not sure if his algorithm is pushing your stuff back. Could be because I didn't, I didn't produce for a while now do you have your notifications i gotta ask uh mojo do you have your notifications set to all just like i just displayed um because there's people i watch who don't even have as many subscribers and they're not doing a lot of uh, dropping a lot of content and i get all their notifications so make sure you have it select to all uh mojo said for your channel uh, I have it set to all notifications to let me know on videos and live notifications. See, do you have it personalized and set for all videos and live streams? Or do you just have it set to all? Because I'm only going to do one other thing. It's going to be notifications. I mean, it's going to be videos. It's going to be live streams. And every blue moon, it may be a short. I don't do a lot of shorts. So... Uh, I would go ahead and click that all that way. Now, I do push my stuff out time permitting. Like tonight, I didn't have time. But on a 98% of the time, I do have time. And I'll push my stuff out with the link to Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, follow me on Facebook, Points Point Travel. There's a group there. Uh, it is a private group. You'll have to send a request to join. And then I'll approve it usually as soon as I see it. And then uh, on Instagram at points point travel. So if your notifications aren't working, that's another route you could take to make sure you know when I'm going live or dropping a video. So, man, anybody out there got any new credit cards or thinking about getting some new credit cards? I know we got a uh, limited crowd here tonight. Uh, I don't have any credit cards on my radar. I'm pretty pretty good right now. I have a solid foundation. I've actually got rid of some cars. I didn't do videos on it. Uh, and I may do a, a video on that, but it, it's just a matter of uh, consolidating. If I'm getting been like right now, I probably could roll. I like the multipliers on the hotel cards, especially Hilton and, and, and all of them actually, but I like Marriott standing at their property, but it's hard to stay there for free it's hard to earn points so it's typically hilton or hyatt and i love the multipliers on their cards their hotel cards 
It's same as with my American Airlines. I like to accumulate American Airlines points. But to be honest, if I only had Chase and American Express cards, I'd, I'd be cool. Because the Freedom Flex from Chase and the Unlimited, Freedom Unlimited, and the uh, and, and there's a Freedom, but it's discontinued. Those cards, you can take the points that you earn and transfer them or redeem them for cash one point for one cent. You're not, they're not going to give you a half a point or something like that. What's going on, Devin? Thank you for coming in. Hey, Devin, I don't know if you saw the uh, members only video that I dropped today. Uh, let me know if you did or didn't. Or if you maybe you haven't even had a chance to watch it, but I did drop one today and I'm about to crank that back up. Devin is a channel member, been hanging with me, rocking with me since I first started, since I first started my memberships. He's at 30 some months as a member now, right at three years or over three years. So, um, yeah, but I, if I could only had Chase and American Express cards, I wouldn't be upset because I have the option to take my Chase cards and use them to get cash back. And I could transfer to Marriott, Hyatt, Hilton, Delta, United, Southwest, and American Airlines if I get lucky with uh, British Airways. Um, so I don't know if you got the notification, Devin, or if you just didn't see it, but I did do a members only video. I didn't do it live. I did a video today. Very interesting video. I just played maybe 10 seconds of it. So yeah, definitely check out, check out, uh, your, your, your notifications. But if you don't want a bunch of cars, let's, let's talk about this. If you don't want a bunch of cars, let's just say you only want one for a year to see if you even like it. I like the chase cards but i love the american express cards i tend to get more redemption value out of my american express cards than i do my chase cards now not said i get better i just get more i had american express for over a year year and a half before i even got a chase card so that could be the case i got accustomed to their program i got accustomed to their cards but this everyday preferred card now Speaking of the everyday preferred card, let me talk about something. This is a whole separate video, a whole separate live. But I do want to put this out there. There is a no annual fee version of the everyday preferred card called the American Express Everyday Card. Now, there's a blue everyday, which is cash, and there's a everyday. The everyday is points. Blue everyday is cash because they consider their cash blue. It's just how they market it. Now, it's no annual fee, but you don't earn as many points. And uh, the sign welcome offer is going to be cheaper. And instead of getting 50% of the uh, uh, bonus, you make 20 transactions in a billing cycle. You get like 20% bonus, something like that. So I would rather go ahead and, if I can afford it, pay the $95 and get the 50% bonus. Um, but if I couldn't, if I got put in a jam, I know I can always downgrade from the everyday preferred to the everyday part and still be earning points. So if nobody's thinking about any cards or any travel coming up. Well, we're right at that one hour mark, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what that means. We got four real homies still in the building. But if y'all don't have any questions, any comments, then I've said pretty much all I have to say now I can. Ad, uh, ad lib or, or answer questions or talk about something y'all were discussing. But as far as me and me riding solo like the Long Ranger, I pretty much said everything I had to say. Well, let me get a sip of water. My throat's good. I'm not getting up. I'm just going to put my avatar on. But I've said everything that I pretty much had to say. Um, uh, Just in case something dribbled, I thought I'd put my avatar up there. So, uh, Mufasa says, my latest card is a Capital One Saver card, great card. 3% cash back on groceries and restaurants. I pair it with the custom cash, which I use for gas when I'm not earning Hilton points. Solid, solid, solid strategy. So, Mufasa is using his Hilton card to earn Hilton points for Hilton stays. He's using... Uh, the custom city custom cash card to get 5% cash back at gas stations month in and month out, not rotating categories. You don't have to spend a certain amount of money. It just has to be the most spend on that card. 
and he's got groceries and restaurants locked down at three percent. He has a three. Now he may have more cards, but he's naming, he's listing a three card setup here, and he's got everything covered. And then obviously you're gonna get one uh, percent cash back or one time to point. And with Hilton cards, you actually get three points on non-bonus categories. So you don't have to have 20, 30 cards to take advantage of everything. You, if you just depend on what your strategy is, what your lifestyle is, what are you trying to accomplish? Do you like, if you only stay at Hilton, why do you have a higher card? Now, I'll tell you why I would if I only like to stay at Hilton. And I go to a place there's only two Hiltons and they're both booked. One's got a wedding and one's got a convention. I'm going to have either a transferable point card like American Express or Chase. You can sign up for every hotel loyalty program and every airline loyalty program out there for free. You don't have to have their credit cards. But I'm going to have a way to transfer points over to another program or I'll take my hire. On. I typically, when I travel, I travel with the credit card, the hotel credit card that I'm going to stay at, and I'll take another one. So let's just say I'm going somewhere and I'm staying at a I plan, I'm staying at a Hyatt, but the pictures look good. And I get there and it's not clean. I don't like it. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm going to tell them I'm not staying there. Uh, they haven't ran. They have my card information because I had to reserve the room, but I'm going to demand a refund. I do have a lease status, so they're going to give me that. And then I'm going to take either points or my Hilton card and go and get a Hilton room. So that's why I always travel with a backup hotel card. I don't travel with backup flights and stuff. Now, I can. Let's say I'm um, in Seattle and I have an American Airlines flight booked. But for some reason, it got canceled. I'm not going to sit there and cry to the agent or cry to the customer service. The first thing I'm going to do is either get on my laptop because I typically travel with my laptop because I may record or go live. Or I'm going to jump on my phone. And the first thing I'm going to do is jump on Delta, Southwest, United. And I'm going to see if any of these have an available flight. Will it be a reasonable price? Probably not because I'm trying to fly the same day I'm booking it, but will it have a reasonable point value? They don't really trip off points is because you're close to the travel time frame. Cash, yeah. The, the closer it is, the more expensive it becomes. Points, not so much. That's why I like having transferable points cards. What's Again, what's my favorite word? Options, baby. So if I only had an American Airlines card, and that's the only card I had, and I'm racking up American Airlines points, but I'm somewhere they get the flight get canceled. Ain't nothing wrong with the weather. Weather's fine. They just, for some reason, the plane's having problems. The plane is having mechanical issues. And that's the only plane they had that's going to go from Seattle to Dallas. I'm not going to sit there and cry. Now, I might get a little upset after I go through Delta, Southwest, United, and I can't get a flight. Then I might get a little bothered. But nine times out of ten, you're going to find a flight especially on point or miles value, they're not points, miles, where you can transfer miles over to that and bounce out and just bounce out, man. So keep in mind, one of the things I'm telling you right now, man, American Delta United Southwest, I'm signed up with all their loyalty programs, United Southwest Delta America. I only have American Airlines credit cards. I don't have a Delta credit card. I don't have a Southwest credit card. And I don't have a United credit card. None of them. But I have cards where I can transfer the points over to those and still get the perks of being part of their loyalty program. I tell you, man, it's so many ways to skin a cat. And I may do a video. I got I to gotta look at it. Uh, I signed up for a few American Airlines programs this uh weekend that's going to give me even more miles and loyalty points where I can fly with America. And I don't even have to fly. This was so cool about these. You got shopping and dining. I done bought a lot of hats from Fanatics in the last few months. And Fanatics is one of their partners. 
So I went through the program, didn't even use my American Airlines card. I used my business gold card, earned membership reward points with that, and then earned 3.5 miles for every dollar I no 2.5 for every dollar I spent towards American Airlines. Double dipping, baby. I'm just like the ice cream shop. I'm double dipping every chance I get, man. Double dipping every chance I get. Well, we're down to one person, y'all. Again, if you haven't done so, do your boy a favor. Subscribe to the channel. If you're watching the replay, make sure if you subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's going to default to personalize. Make sure you select all. Hit that thumbs up if you came into the live stream and you didn't hit the thumbs up. Make sure you hit it on the way out, the like button. Share the channel with your family and friends. Share it on your social media platforms. Hope everybody have a great rest of your Sunday. Hope you have a blessed and prosperous week. I will be coming at you soon, probably not tomorrow. I'm probably going to take a break because I think I hit all three channels today. I know I, I uploaded um, to the finance channel. No, I didn't do anything on Points Point Experience. I uploaded a video to the finance channel. I'm live here tonight on Points Point Travel. And then I did a members only video on Points Point Travel. So going to get a little rest. Again, remember, man, and before I say that, shoot for the moon. If you don't make it, you'll be amongst the stars, I can guarantee you. Also, I always say peace, but I am going to say it because once I put this up, I probably won't be coming back on the screen. I'm going to still be here. But remember to check out all the uh, channels on the network. You have Points Point Travel, D Points Point Experience, Investing with Rod and Points Point Clips. And the passcode to success is 247365. Stay grinding, even if you ain't physically grinding, mentally grinding, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You'll be surprised at how successful you can be. Make sure there's no more comments. I know we had a couple of people that just came in, but yeah, make sure y'all check out the replay. Again, it's your boy Rod tapping out for the evening. Thank y'all. Thanks to all those viewers, the subscribers, the channel members. And let me put it in here one more time. For anybody that's watching the replay or if you're in here right now, if you want to become a channel member, that is the link. I just put it at the bottom of the comments. I'll put it there on the screen. Starting at $1.99. And I can tell you with the information I'm going to be putting out, you're going to save more. The highest level is platinum. And it's $9.99 a month. Uh, and it's description there what all you get with each membership. Gold is $4.99. Silver is $1.99. I guarantee you. You're going to get more than $9.99, $4.99, or $1.99 worth of value just from the specials and the deals that I'm going to be telling you about that you may not be aware of. Oh, man, I'm loving this here. What's up? I don't know how. To, I don't want to mess up your name. Uh, an, a pro, profe or profe? A guy you salute from Mexico City, man. I was saying at the beginning of this live stream, we are the national, baby. Someone tap it in. Sorry, I hate you missed the live, but definitely check out the replay. And also, hey, uh, make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, man, we 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 trying to go global, baby. We want to be www.pointsplaintravel. I ain't even put .com because I ain't worried about a website. I want to be worldwide. So I guess I should be www.pointsplaintravel. Worldwide, baby. We're trying to go international. But thank you for tapping in. Salute to you as well. Mexico City. And with that being said, man, matter of fact, you know what? I'm tripping. I don't know why. Let me take this down. Man, yeah, Mexico City. I'm over here talking. Uh, I'm looking at the camera up here, so I'm seeing me, but down here it's not there. But, hey, man, thank you for tapping in. That really means a lot. This is, again, the last, the last, 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 last call for comments because I'd be setting myself up to keep going. And I've already kind of did my outro, my closing comments, man. Words of wisdom. When you get into the points and miles game, if it's a card that does not make sense for your lifestyle or your strategy, and I'm going to give you an example, then don't get the card just to be getting it. Now, you may end up flying United. You may end up flying Southwest. If you're like me in a Dallas hub city, okay, 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 you're a full-time expat. Pull it up. You're a full-time expat. You are subscribed. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. 
I'm a full-time expert, so travel benefits are what I'm looking to do. You may want to check out the $1.99 membership or depend on which one of the levels fit your lifestyle or what you're trying to learn because I'm going to be putting out some stuff over there that's going to definitely give you a lot of travel benefits. Trust you me. But, uh, man, what was I saying? I got caught up. I saw that. Um, oh, yeah. Don't get cars that doesn't fit your lifestyle like me. I haven't flown United since 1989. I'm just not near a United situation. If I, where I'm going, they, ha they, they have United here in Dallas, but American is the hub, so it's more flights, more American flights than any other. Delta, if I fly Delta, I can go certain places, like New York, I can go straight through. But everywhere else I try to go, San Diego, Miami, they always stop in Atlanta or Minneapolis or Salt Lake City, Utah. So I don't really use Delta. I don't have a Delta credit card. I don't have a United credit card. Southwest, I'm really leaning towards going, taking some Southwest flights. The only reason I don't, the only reason I don't is Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport is closer to my house than Love Field. And I have to go to Love Field to catch a Southwest flight. I don't have a Southwest card. So I'm giving myself and you guys reasons why I don't have these different cards. I only have an American Airlines card when it comes to an airline travel card. Now, I stay at whatever hotel I'm going to get the best deal for or the best location. So, yes, I have the Marriott card, a Marriott card. I have a Hyatt card. I have a Hilton card. But I don't have the IHG card, the, the uh, earners cards, because I haven't been staying at those locations lately. So my words of wisdom, my closing words of wisdom is make sure if you apply for a car, I highly recommend having a strategy. What are you going to use a car for? Now, when I say strategy, you ain't got to get on no chalkboard or no whiteboard and draw the whole game plan like you're about to go play in the Super Bowl. But have a strategy. Have a strategy of why you're getting this car. Do you eat out a lot? Well, you probably want to look at credit cards that give you cash back of points on dining out. Do you not eat out and you go to the grocery store all the time and you probably want to look at a cash back card or a points earning card. It's good with grocery stores. Do you do both? Then you might want to have two cards. One that covers both. Do you catch the subway or a train or a bus to work? And you may want to have a card that give you a good rate on transit there's a lot of cars out there that give you good rates on transit or you park and ride if you park and ride you're double dipping i tell you i'm like the ice cream shop baby that's gonna be my slogan for 2024 the ice cream shop we're gonna be double dipping all year so you're gonna earn points when you uh park and then you're gonna earn more points when you take the transportation bus subway train whatever it may be uh i only fly united and star alliance i'm at i'm a united mileage silver i'm at united mileage silver level but i don't have a united car now that tell me you're doing some flying you know i had the american goal and it's in conjunction with what they're saying i had the gold status for four months american gave me an offer and then i had so many points i had to earn and I think I had like three months to do it. No, four months to do it. And I didn't make it, man. So when I see anybody that say they have silver, gold, platinum, diamond, at least status with an airline, I'm extremely impressed. So my hat's off to you. Just keep doing what you're doing. All right, y'all. I really got to get out of here this time. I hate leaving when there's people in here. Uh, Devin says, I have flown United for three years since my local airport only has it and glad i get the benefits of the united explorer car and that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying so it's no sense to have an american car or a delta car when they only have united it is a regional airport and i only know because i've heard that yeah good night y'all have a good night and i hate i tell you i don't want to go man but and i appreciate the people that have been commenting putting comments in here and asking questions i really appreciate it it means a lot it helps the live stream flow. But more importantly, I always learn something. I always learn something. When you guys are coming or asking questions, I learn something. And that's one of the things that you get 
when you're a channel member. Notice that next to Devin's name, there's a little disc looking thing. He is a channel member. Um, so I'm telling you, man, you don't want to miss out on this channel membership. It, it, it's, it, it, it's something I've been thinking about for a while. And I finally came, it's kind of like credit cards. I finally come up with a good strategy of how I want to do it. Today, it was a longer video and it took me nothing to sit right here in my studio, record the video, get it out to everybody. Didn't have to do a bunch of editing and stuff. I did a little bit. And, and that's what I want, man. I want to get it out. So you're going to still get a lot of content here by being a non-member. But if you want even more deals and knowledge, definitely consider becoming a channel member. Again, $1.99 silver, $4.99 gold, $9.99 platinum. And I've talked to, I haven't met them, but I've talked to several people who have platinum membership over the phone. Um, and, and it's been kind of cool, man. I got a chance to put a voice with a name. So, uh, yeah, but if they, if they, if they fly so much and all, I, I mean, to be honest, depend on how they're doing it. You might not need a United card because if they have a transferable points card and can transfer United, and if they've earned silver membership, they let me know they're earning miles. They're traveling quite a bit, so they may have a good strategy, but having an airline card will only enhance the number of points that you can or the number of miles that you can gain. So definitely not a bad idea, Devin. Definitely not a bad idea. All right, to the five real homies, man, I will be seeing y'all soon. Remember, shoot for the moon. If you don't make it, you'll be amongst the stars. And with that being said, no backtracking this time. If I see a comment, man. If you have another comment, put it in the comments outside of the live stream. <coughs> Excuse me, I spoke too soon. I'm bad, but I choked. Yes, I should get a good United. I should get a United card. I just need to decide which one. There you go. So it's already on your on your mind. It's already on your radar. All right, y'all. I do have to get out of here. And again, it is your boy Rod. Points money travel. Much love to y'all, man. Thank y'all. Y'all make the channel what it is. And with all that being said, I'll holler at y'all soon. Peace, baby. Y'all have a good one.